And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Riven Taric to start the day off. We got some new cards. We got a bunch of balance patch changes coming in here. So we got some new Rune Terra to play. It's a very exciting day. We're going to actually start off with Riven Taric instead of starting off with Aphelios. I know Aphelios looks really cool. Um, and it looks like with Aphelios, you have just an unreal amount of choices being able to choose from all five of these different moon weapons that look really cool. But but we're going to start, we're going to have Aphelios second. And it's just kind of a thing of, um, you know, I want to put these videos up on YouTube for those y'all watching on YouTube pretty quickly. And uh, as far as like thumbnails go, I know I have like the Riven Taric thumbnail from before. And uh, I may not have, so some, another person makes my thumbnails, I may not have a Victor Aphelios thumbnail right away. And so we'll have that be our second deck. So Aphelios will be our second deck that we will be playing uh, there with Victor, as you can see by our uh, schedule up here in the top left. We're also going to there's a brand new single player lab that people are talking about that look, looks really cool. We're going to play that third if you want to see us play that and uh, kind of have like a little walkthrough with that. Um, we're going to play that third. And then for people on Twitch, we while we were building these decks, we actually already hit our our uh, first uh, sub goal. So we're going to be playing some extra games um, for our for our fourth thing. But anyway, Riven Taric to start with, and the reason why we're playing Riven Taric is because Riven got a couple of big upgrades. Now, if you just look at Riven, it looks like it's the same card, but two big things: one, Blade of the Exile now costs one mana. And I think that's going to be incredibly strong with it just costing one mana. That's a huge difference between one and three. Basically, um, whenever you have like all of these like blade fragments, it's hard. It was hard to like play these blade fragments to level up Riven. And then also after doing that, then also cast the Blade of the Exile at slow speed and, and three mana. It was difficult to do all that like in the same turn and then attack and then maybe have a combat trick up also because it costs so much mana for the Blade of the Exile along with these Blade Fragments. But now hopefully um, we are able to play, you know, like maybe we've already played like one of the Blade Fragments before. So now uh, going into a turn, we can play like the other two Blade Fragments plus the Blade of the Exile and that's only three mana before attacking with our leveled up Riven. Also being able to unload all of those things so cheaply works really well with Taric because of course we need to tar target or support ally seven plus times and each one of those you know counts towards our Taric level up especially that Blade of the Exile only being one mana we put it on our Taric you know like maybe we can cast like those blade fragments put then put the blade then put the uh, Blade of the Exile on the Taric and then uh, maybe that levels up our Taric um, and then they, they get like the special part, but even, even not, um, just being able to copy that over to the next thing with it only being one mana, we can still copy that over and we can have two things with the blade of the exile pretty easily. So that's a big upgrade going from three to one. And then of course, blade squire, blade squire as a one, two, honestly just wasn't playable, right? Like if you just, you just can't really play one mana one twos with, la with last breath because your opponent can just completely ignore it, right? Like they don't ever have to like block your one, two and, and things like that. Um, so yeah, it was, it was just not a good card for an aggressive deck. So we never really played Blade Squire in Riven decks. And that was, that was really the problem with Riven was, wasn't, it wasn't necessarily that Riven was bad. It was that the cards going along with Riven, like Weapon Hilt, Blade Squire just weren't really playable. Now, Blade Squire, very playable, you know, it's just switch those around a 2-1, very playable. Because if you're attacking, you know, get a, a one, one mana 2-1, you're attacking for two right away. You know, like that, that's a real clock and you start attacking for two, like you got to block it. You know, like that, that's a real card that you have to deal with. So and like as a one, two, you don't really have to deal with it. Um, and so, you know, so now they're going to have to deal with it. Now we get the last breath reforge more likely. And of course, this one mana blade of the exile. So Riven looks pretty exciting now with those two changes. I like it a bunch. So we're going to try this new Riven Taric deck list. So here we go. Let's get to some games. We're going to go head on over to ranked. We got a new board and everything this looks pretty exciting let's see how let's see how we do all right playing against some aphelio zoe with p and z all right let's see we got soldier we got new pale cascade not as good as old pale cascade but you know still a card we're playing I think I'm going to mulligan the Kato, and it's basically, do I want to keep two soldiers? Let's see, how is this going to look? So we go, like, 
turn two, we play a soldier. Actually, we'll play one, turn one, play the other, turn two. Yeah, we'll keep both. I don't know. I'm not sure if I should be keeping both soldiers. If if I would mulligan one soldier, I would not play one on turn one here. I would just wait until turn two, of course, because of the daybreak bonus. And then we would just play the um you know, we just play the one soldier on turn two. Sharpen the blade, secure the kill. Okay. So now I'm definitely wishing I would have mulliganed the other soldier, because you know we're gonna want to play things like Ballista, Kato, save our mana for Pale Cascade, so I would so definitely wish I would have mulliganed the other. Because the other thing about our deck is like the champions are like pretty important in our deck as far as finding uh, finding both of them. And of course my opening hand didn't have either champion. Uh, KW asked, do you think the new champion will be OP? So it's, it's kind of too hard for me to say right now. You know, like, we're, this is our first game against Aphelios, and, you know, we'll play Aphelios up next. You know, like, it, you know, like, I, I like to play, like, a few games with and against it first to, to really know, but um, what I am going to say is that the ability to have the, the ability to have the choice with uh, five different cards does seem incredibly good. Um, so, like, that's the thing about Aphelios, how you get that, that choice with five, five cards seems really really good um so yeah like there's and it's in the best region you know targon being the best region so it, it looks good okay so we have there are two options here with ballistic cooling strike okay i almost ran out of time sorry we i was uh talking about something on stream but deciding to go with the cooling strike here awesome so, like, I was worried about Pale Cascade for sure, right? Because Pale Cascade on the Aphelios would have broken that up. Oh, but now we have Taric. Hmm. Now I want to play this Taric, but... So, it's it's either play Taric or play Solari Soldier plus Iron Ballista. And it just kind of makes sense to play the two things, the 3-3 three, three and the 4-3 Overwhelm instead of just the 3-4. Is the one true light. So maybe we'll play the Taric on their turn. Raise your weapon, Sunwood. Okay, you have a couple copies of Decisive Maneuver. I don't like that card in this kind of deck, honestly. Yeah, Calibrum. Yeah. Aphelios looks great. That Calibrum card looks pretty great. Devotion to battle. No mercy for heretics. This new board is cool. I like the music in this new board. And that's obviously a, a big part of the boards is the background music. No, you don't you don't get to know what weapon they they face to. As far as I can tell, it doesn't doesn't tell you. Beauty and life. Oh, this does say it says phase ser severum. So whatever severum is, they got that thing. This is still like Am I going to make mistakes during the stream? Absolutely. Do I know exactly what all these like moon weapons and everything do? Not at all. <laughs> you know, it's it's these are new brand new cards. Um, I guess I had time to like study all of them and know all of them, but yeah, Severim, no idea what that does. I mean, I have an idea. It's like, I don't know, maybe a lifelink thing or something or an overwhelm or I don't know. We'll figure, you know, we'll see what, we'll just kind of see what happens. Lost in reflection. All right, so let's see. I want to that 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 yeah, I don't know the names of them. Okay, so if you right click, it will show you all of them, but not not on like the history. Yeah, not not on the the history. There's no like right or left click here or anything. So Severum does something. I don't know. We'll we'll see whenever whenever it happens, I suppose.
I don't like seeing this, obviously. Golden Sister, Silver Sister, obviously that's something that's very good. This Mountain Scryer, grabbing that was pretty good for them. But we got him down to nine. We got a couple of Kato's. If you view Aphelios. Okay, Aphelios, here we go. Sever him. This thing. Give an ally plus one plus two and life steal this round. Okay. So I need another spell to target for the Taric. So Severum is lifesteal. I guess I should play the Legion Drummer for blocking purposes instead of the uh, instead of the Glory Seeker. Yeah, I should have played the Legion Drummer and then blocked the four three. I guess I wasn't really focused on blocking. I would not want to be here. I can't let that thing just stay alive and then you know deal damage here and deal damage on blocking. No, definitely not trading Tarek. Tarek is great. But we obviously need a spell, so hoping to draw a spell. Yeah, we can we can level up Tarek right now. Okay, so I played Culling Oh, I played Culling Strike. Gross. Yeah, it's it's much too early. Like Talmar says, all the weapons are overpowered, incoming massive nerfs. It's it's much too early to say that. Um, everybody's gonna be playing Aphelios today, right? Like it's it's day one, right? Like everybody's gonna be playing it. So you're gonna see a ton of it. So you're if you're just thinking, the man, I, I'm seeing a ton of this. But um, I. This is something that, you know, like I've talked about, um, not really on, on like YouTube recording too much, but just off, off recording just on, on stream quite a bit, that it, just the, the design, the design of Aphelios doesn't make a lot of sense to me. The design of like having a card that it's enter the battlefield effect, like it's whenever you play it, obviously you need Nightfall, but still whenever you play it, you get to choose between five different cards to put in your hands. That doesn't make a lot of sense to me. That just seems like you get too good of a choice. And Can I paint you? I'm I'm very surprised by that. Okay, yeah, I, I hadn't seen that at all. Marauder says that the developers put out a deep dive video on the design. I'm also not like, you know, I, w I obviously wish that we were getting like the, the brand new expansion, uh, like the new, you know, the, the new, the new full expansion right now instead of next month, but I guess it's not quite ready yet, I guess, because we're getting this like champion showcase new cards this month with the Aphelios. But we, we, like Targon was, was already the most powerful region and that wasn't close before and now they get another champion with Aphelios that looks really good and so as far as like the balance goes in this game that's that's definitely a worry now one reason why Targon was so good is the power of Pale Cascade and Hush and both Pale Cascade and Hush were nerfed so that's you know that's that's something to take take into account All right, what do I have here? I have the plus two, plus zero. Uh, Gamma says it's worth mentioning that the moon weapons are hard to get unless Aphelios is on the field. Yeah, like you, you wouldn't expect just to get like free cards all the time without anything. 
Let's put him to one. Let's try this first before we go with the might. Yeah, I know I could go Might on Glory Seeker. But I was I wanted to go with this first. So that if they had like a um like a mystic shot, they would use the mystic shot on the rune weaver and not the glory seeker. And there we go. GG's. Good ol' overwhelm. They got all their fancy invoke stuff and got a million cards in hand. But sometimes all you need is just a good old fashioned beatdown. Mari. Anivia is going to be a little bit harder to get like your good old fashioned beatdown against, that's for sure. Okay, back over to our, our deck. We're definitely mulligating the Glory Seeker, and I think the Soldier. I don't really mind having a couple of one drops, actually, though. Let's, let's keep these other cards. I don't know. It the soldier is a maybe. Definitely keeping the squire with having the last breath. Finally, some action. Okay. I wish I would have mulliganed the soldier. Because <clears throat> I'm not able to play it. Because I need I need to save the two mana for pale cascade. Because we're going this with the three mana. Because next turn when we attack, we're gonna play Taric with the four mana, and then, you know, have, like, Tarek and then Phil Cascade. So I don't get to even play the Soldier. Because I want I wanted to draw two, of course. Man, good hand for them. Avalanche into Sentry, that's pretty nice. Come on, let me attack, let me attack. Let me attack. Please don't kill my Iron Ballista. It's too bad. Alright, so I put Tarek down to one health. Don't give me that sad face. You had double avalanche. Don't give me that. Never submit. Don't give me that double sad face. Or that sad face with, with your double avalanche. I don't want to hear it. Pass turn. Five mana. To serve the greater good. Alright, everything's got one health. <laughs> Withering Whale gonna wreck us. Alright, let's see. So we'll go... One mana. Oh, don't have a Withering Whale. Alright. GG's. So basically I was gonna have like... I was gonna have... I was gonna do the one mana plus two plus zero. And I was gonna do Pale Cascade. Uh, targeting over. And then we were also gonna have the Might available. Depending on what they did. But yeah, it was, it was looking good for us, for sure. Because we could easily beat Withering Whale there. Um, so they would have to have something more than that. Alright, looks like people like Zoe, Aphelios with PNZ. We didn't really see any PNZ cards from them, did we? Like, the last time that we just, just played this deck a little bit ago. Alright, how's this going to look? So we're going to have turn one, I guess, Blade Squire. Or Soldier. I think I probably only want one of those two. I don't think I want the second one. So which which one do I want to play on turn one? Do I want Blade Squire or Soldier? I think I'm going to mulligan the other. And we'll keep Transfusion. And we'll keep Taric. Soldier does more damage, but Blade Squire has the Reforge. Okay. 
three out of three people so far in chat have said keep Blade Squire, so we'll keep that for the spell. So we'll try that. And looks like our deck wanted us to keep Blade Squire, so they they're giving us more. They're like, take Blade Squire. Here's here's another. Here, sir. Please have another. Mention the stones is kind of cool. How can I help? Wow, did you see that? Uh, excuse me? Is that all you got? Ow. Eager Apprentice just isn't a good card, right? Like, why is this deck playing Eager Apprentice? Lame. Should have kept the Daybreak card, because the Daybreak card I could use I could use Transfusion. I guess that's that's the thing to think about with the Blade Squire. You know, when I, whenever I had Blade Squire Transfusion, maybe I should have kept the 2-2. The two -two. Tom Mars says I should still transfusion. Definitely a thought. Still transfusion, I, I don't know. Claritin for your allergy needs. Yeah, definitely considering the Tarek's blessing. That just means they trade there. I'm planning on culling striking this insightful investigator. That thing is scary. Alright, never mind. I guess I don't get to do that. Oh, it is a grant plus one plus one. It's not just until end of turn. See, that's the thing. You know, we're going to be learning stuff about new cards and everything. So that's a permanent plus one plus one. Huh. How about that? I definitely first... You know, like, they, it's a typo here. They, like, they forgot to put landmark on this thing. But I definitely at first thought that it was talking about uh, spell mana. And then realized, okay, no, it's regular mana. But then I thought it was just, like, plus one plus one until end of turn. And now realizing it's a grant. We are one in the same all right, so Tarek's at three. Yeah, five choices is pretty silly. It's just too many choices, isn't it? Again, we're we're gonna have to like see this card in action and everything like that over time, but this just seems, you know, just theoretically, this just just doesn't make sense to me having a choice of five As cards falls, the moon rises. It, it doesn't make sense to me the facts fall into place So I could copy Might over like this, or copy Targon's 
the blessing. I think I copy might over. Lost in reflection. Finally, some action. Never submit. Sure, boss. Hold it. Hide no longer. I w yeah, hush is still just fine. I don't think I don't think you should. I don't think you can't play hush just because it costs three mana. I think it's worth for what it does. It's worth three mana. Cascade that thing. That thing wasn't taking any damage anyway. They're still taking. They still go to zero. That thing wasn't going. They just pill cascade the wrong thing. The Aphelios wasn't even dying. These gems aren't just for show. I don't know. The eye. No, I don't think. I don't think the eyes turned off. As far as I know, I, I don't know why it would be. So you said the eye seems turned off during Aphelios games. Only if they're, like, talking about, like, this thing, this eye. Only if there's, like, some card that does something random. Maybe maybe because, like, the moon cards are random? I don't know. I mean, I like, I really like Tarek plus Pale Cascade, but we're going to need some earlier stuff to go along with it. So let's mulligan the two middle cards. Um, I mean, it's nothing against Kato, considering Kato, you know, like, we have the attack token on, I guess we have the attack token on the even Ours turns, don't we? This hand's shaping up pretty good for us. We got our champs. Riven, Tarek, Pale Cascade. Destruction feeds my fire. It's not as... Like, our hand's not as busted as, like, plus two, plus one Pale Cascade. But it's still shaping up pretty good for us. Yeah, this is the ideal curve. <laughs> when will I find peace? Kawa says, I can't get bad curves with Tarek. I mean, it's it's possible. I can. I play a lot of Tarek, but I just choose not to. Let the flames take you. Yeah, Lacus, you're you're right on there. Yeah, you always vote like with your uh, predictions. Always go with the the prediction that has this the. the Small side, I think that's that's the way to go. Okay, so let's maybe support this thing. The soldier. If I support the soldier, then they can trade with the ribbon. Maybe I don't want them to trade with the ribbon. It does mean my soldier def definitely gonna die. But oh well. It either dies in combat or it dies at the beginning of their turn. But, of course, I think I want to just keep my champions alive and well. Tarek will not copy Transfusion, no. Um, Tarek only copies spells that are just single target, where Tarek is the only target. Um, and Transfusion has two targets, so it does not. But Transfusion does count as two out of the seven, because you do target two different things. So it does... Uh, level up your your terror pretty well. I don't know what what was that card? What did they play? A card. Okay. Let me guide. Nah, I don't want you to let. Me, I don't want you to guide anybody. You can just go away. Oh, 
Okay. What do we got for mana? Six plus two, so eight. So if I go Kato, then we can have a Blade Fragment and a Transfusion. That seems pretty good. Or a Pill Cascade and a Transfusion. Or sorry, a Blade Fragment and a Pill Cascade. Everyone here? Let's go. Which Blade Fragment would I want? So we got that. What do we have? We have Quick Attack and Overwhelm. We don't really need Overwhelm, do we? I guess I guess Overwhelm does sound kind of good on the Kato. So we have 11 Overwhelm coming in. Yeah, that's maybe better than Quick Attack. Fly to them on broken wings. I give you muscles. <laughs> Another obstacle. Embers and smoke. Maybe the overwhelm wasn't necessary. Because this was like the obvious blocks that they were going to do, even if I if I didn't do the overwhelm. They are still making these blocks, so like th that overwhelm, I guess, wasn't necessary. Like, they weren't, they weren't going to, like, like, let's say I don't play the overwhelm, they weren't blocking the other way. I guess, I guess maybe they were going to block the other way. Because this would have, over I guess, yeah, maybe they would block the other way. Okay, so two Ember Maidens down, a Soraka down, that 2-7 thing down. I got plenty of cards still. I got a lot of cards compared to them. I can play Kato, but I could, or I could also play like multiple of these other things. I guess I can go Kato and Runeweaver. If I want to play the Blade of the Exile this next turn, yeah, that Troll Gifts doesn't seem too good. So if I want to play the Blade of the Exile, that means that we give them a chance to play something. Alright, so we give you Quick Attack. Have you give you that gives you that gives you, and we have you get the plus two. Make these pieces form. And you know, I still have. I guess I can only play two cards between. I could do three, I guess, if I do double pill cascade transfusion. But yeah, they're they're just not staying alive there. At last. Man, we four zero. Our deck is great. It's like, like, like a. So I have like that bed there with the blanket in it, and puppy's like just laying against the bed. Puppy's like, ah, couldn't quite make it to the bed. Gotta gotta sleep here. Just laying on the blanket, not the blanket, not in the bed. All right, what are we playing against? Misfortune Swain. Yeah, it could be a monkey deck. Could be a, a Misfortune Swain monkey deck. I have Glory Seeker into Ballista into Taric, but I do want to have that Pale Cascade up. So we'll have the attack token turn four. I, I'm just going to keep all of this, but... I don't know exactly how this is going to work. I, I, I never right now, it looks like I'm not going to be playing the Glory Seeker. But Glory Seeker is still just awesome as far as like taking down like a Misfortune. They can be a big problem. I'm not going to use Glory Seeker on like a little one-two. This is where we miss having the one drop, right? Like we, so far, like we've had great curves in a lot of these other games. 
miss having that one drop. Because that's that's the ideal thing, is you have a one drop, two mana, you have Pale Cascade or Transfusion, and then you have like your three drop, and then you have like Taric, you know, your three drop, three drop, preferably Riven, and then you have your Taric. Whoa, we got a donation? That is amazing. Thank you so much there, Disgruntled Gruntle. All right, with a Nightfall aggro, build it how you want. Thank you so much for that donation. Okay. Let me write that down. Yeah, I wasn't really expecting Sentry. That's a, that's a Sentry's perfect against Taric though. Good turn for them. So Nightfall aggro and for me to build. Okay, got it down. Sprayfin, Sprayfin's good. The world awaits. Forward. Hey, give shot. You don't know what the opponent's deck is? It's just them them killing, them trying to kill us. That's what their deck is. An aggressive deck. Defend the Empire. No further. Too bad. Don't worry, I am here. I think has seven health. Vision to see what others So old pale cascade we could play with the plus two. But now I, I can't play Pale Cascade because I need I need Might, um, and I don't want to play. So I would probably normally play Rune Weaver right here, but I also don't want to play Rune Weaver because I don't want them to then stun. You know, play whatever thing that deals Nexus damage and then stun. So basically, this is what we are, uh, therefore, priced into. Old Pale Cascade would have been a lot better here. I guess I just let this all happen like this. I don't know. I don't know if I should be casting Pale Cascade and looking for, like, Culling Strike to kill the Sprayfin, because I am at such a low life total. So maybe I should have done that and put them down to four. I guess I kind of have to do that. And then being at four or being at five just doesn't really matter, TBH. It's basically, do they have, like, a, you know, do they have, like, Burn Spells to kill me? There's a good chance that we are going to die. Um, but there's a better chance. Like, they're they're dead by next turn. So, like, they have to kill me before my dam like before damage happens the next turn. Because they're they're dead before damage happens the next turn. Ours is the one true light. No mercy for heretics. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna play Riven Rune, Rune Weaver. Overwhelms what I wanted. Remember the objectives. Because yeah, like we're gonna open attack, and so can they kill me? They can kill me. We die. If they can't, they die. Plus two, plus zero. No. Up 
Promise the blood boss. Sounds good. I don't really need to level up Tarek before... I guess I just cast both these at levels of Tarek. Okay, so we go... Quick attack on you. Overwhelm on you. There is nowhere left to go but up. Okay, they did not have the direct damage. Needed. They need, you know, they need two direct damage, fast speed. And of course, I was going to have my Taric. So, uh, support the Riven, and so the Riven was going to have Overwhelm also, right? So it's going to be like the Ballista, and then the Taric, and then the Riven all be Overwhelm, and then just have that other little 3 1 be the quick attack, and then depending on their blocks, we would have the transfusion after blocks. Um, but that, that's what I was going to do there. Okay, so that's that's amazing. So, you know, just brand new, uh, brand new set, brand new cards, everything. Our very first uh, Riven Taric deck got the 5 0 Blade Squire looked good we didn't get you know we didn't actually end up casting a blade of the exile but you know we still did all like the the riven stuff with all the the blade fragments and everything like that and our our deck looked good i mean just Tarek is just really underrated it really has been for a while i've always had good success with Tarek decks and i think less people are going to be playing hush with hush being three mana now we did play against one person playing hush but i think that that's that's something in in general also, like right, like when we're playing this, we're playing this like just a couple hours after this uh, balance patch update happened. You notice from like just the ranked decks that we played against. To be honest, we really didn't play against the best decks. Like, <laughs> you know, like that's that's just kind of the thing. Whenever you have brand new cards like this, a lot of people are like trying out like the new cards and everything, and and not everybody's like the best deck builders. And and I wasn't really impressed by anybody's deck that we played against. And I think that like one week two weeks three weeks down the line we're not going to see decks like what our opponents were playing um and i'm not i'm not trying to be insulting like it's 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 really difficult to build decks immediately day one um but i'm just saying that like i think this kind of deck is a deck that i've played a bunch i've played different you know Taric noxus decks a ton especially if you watch the channel like last um last seasonal tournament right i played draven Taric, a deck that was very similar to this so i i really know exactly what what i wanted to be doing here and how to play this kind of deck and what i wanted the deck list to look like and everything like that and so like and it's also really aggressive and get a lot of damage in and it's so like all the all those factors are basically you know like good reasons of why we did really well with this list um so what i'm trying to say here is that the, like this you know like this may not be a list that is absolutely amazing three weeks from now whenever like the metagame's more flushed out and and uh you know thousands of people have been playing different decks and and learning and tuning decks and everything like that but for like right now while while people are kind of playing a whole bunch of nonsense and and figuring out what's good um this is a, a really good deck to just kind of smash your way through and get some wins and that's what we did 5-0 um, five O's are rare, and uh, especially in Masters rank, and I can't be um, more happy than that. But yeah, Tarek's still great, and maybe less maybe less hush is better for Tarek. I know that like t tuned down at Pell Cascade is worse for Tarek for sure. That definitely hurts Tarek because um, this is a, a big Pell Cascade's a big part of Tarek decks, but still less hush in the metagame. Very good for Tarek. All right, but anyway, that's it here for Riven Tarek. So those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And uh, of course, feel free to leave those comments as well. I'd really appreciate that. Just like Gucci with that resub. Thank you so much, Gucci. I really appreciate that too. All right, but anyway, um, that's all I got here for this one. So thank you so much for watching, everybody. And I will see you for the next video.